Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths, a core for Maths A level video where we start on coordinate geometry and in particular parametric equations. As always for more help with the studies do check out the YouTube channel or the Twitter. Right, um, let's begin. Um, this is our first lesson on parametric equations, it's chapter 2 with the Edexcel Core 3 Maths A level but is applicable to most other modules. Just to say what uh, the Edexcel course wants. In the coordinate geometry section it says that you need to know about parametric equations of curves and conversions between Cartesian and parametric form. It does say students <clears throat> should be able to find the area under the curve which I'm going to do later when we talk about um, calculus. However it says clearly students will not be expected to sketch a curve from its parametric equation which is in the book, so you don't actually need that skill. Right, let's begin by what parametric equations are all about. Imagine uh, a game of Angry Birds, okay? And we all know this game and how it works, but I'm going to talk to you how we might describe it parametrically. Imagine drawing an XY axis from the point at which you pull the Angry Bird back. So here is the origin Okay, so it's the x and y coordinate zero zero. Now, at any point, um, let's say here, where the bird is, this has an x and a y value. Okay, and uh, let's say, for example, you knew how far across the bird was. It was ten meters across. If you knew the equation of the curve, if you knew the Cartesian form of the curve, Cartesian equation. So you had it as y is equal to a function of x. Okay, and you knew the x value, you could substitute that into your function and get the y value. Going backwards, if you knew the y value, you could uh, substitute it in here as y and you could solve what x value gave you that y. Now alternatively, um, it would be reasonable to say that at any point in time, if I knew the time it was, like it was five seconds later, uh, I might be able to work out how far across and how far up it was. So I'm going to introduce a third parameter, t. Okay, um, And t usually is for time. And this parameter uh, means x will be a function of time. x will be a function of t. If I know the, the, the time or the t value, I can put it in this and I can get myself the x value. And similarly, I could put the time in here, or the t value, and get the y value. So parametric equations introduce a third parameter, which we usually call t, and the x and the y values depend on that third parameter. And if I know the, a t value, I can work out the x and the y value. So tightening this up, um, parametric equations, coordinates of a point on a curve can be defined parametrically. In parametric equations, x and y's are expressed in terms of another parameter, usually t, as follows. So x is a some function of, of this third parameter t, and y is some other function of this third parameter t. So for example, you may say that x is given as, let's say, I don't know, 4t and y may be given as something like, uh, you could just make it up, um, 4 minus t squared. Okay, so x is a function of t, y is a function of t. Now what can you do with these? Well, say if you were told uh, a time, say if you were told that t is equal to 0, you could substitute them in here, x would therefore be 4 times 0, which of course is 0, and y would be 4 subtract 0 squared, which is going to be 4. So given any time, you could work out the x and the y values. Going backwards, what you could do is if you were given an x value, say if you were told uh, x was equal to 4 at any given point, then you could say you, you could substitute back in here and you could say that 4 is therefore equal to 4t. And dividing by 4, t must be 1. Using t as 1, you can find the y value. y, therefore, must be 4 minus 1 squared. And y must be equal to 3. So um, 
your x and your y coordinates are given in terms of a function of another parameter. Given that parameter, the value of it, you could work out your x and your y numbers. And going backwards, given your x and your y numbers, you could work out a t value that made that happen. So with that idea in mind, let's uh, solve some geometric problems. So here's the first one. There's a diagram, and the diagram shows a sketch of the curve with parametric equations. x is equal to t minus 1, y is equal to 4, subtract t squared. The curve meets the x-axis a and b, find the coordinates of a and b. I always find it very helpful just to write my parametrics out. So x is equal to t subtract 1, and y is equal to 4 subtract t squared. Now a and b, uh, we are told that's where it meets the x-axis. So we should state meet x-axis when uh, the y number is equal to 0. Clearly y is 0 here and 0 here. So what we could do is we could substitute y is 0 into uh, the parametric equation. So therefore we could write therefore is a therefore sign, 0 is equal to 4 minus t squared, and we could factorise that difference of 2 squares, 2 subtract t, 2 plus t, and therefore we have two t values, t is equal to 2, or t is equal to negative 2. Now, t is equal to 2 gives me one of these coordinates, and t is equal to negative 2 gives me another one of these coordinates. So I better state them, okay? So when t is 2, x would be 2 subtract 1, which is 1. And clearly y is 0, we know that y is 0. So b must be the coordinates 1, 0. It's clear that this is b. So t is negative 2. Well then x would be negative 2 subtract 1, so it would be negative 3. And y is clearly 0. So the coordinate a would be negative 3, 0. It's very important to substitute your two t values back in and distinguish which one of a and b is each coordinate. Example 2. A curve has parametric equation x is equal to at. So I'm going to write that down. x is equal to at. And y is equal to a multiplied by t cubed plus 8. The curve passes through the point 2, 0, find the value of a. Now, it says a, a is just a, a constant, it's not a variable or parameter here, a is just a constant. So we know the uh, curve passes through 2, 0. So when x is 2, y is 0. So therefore, the following equations are solved. 2 is equal to a t, and 0 is equal to a t cubed plus 8. Okay, so um, let's try and solve this then. Uh, firstly, what I could do is I could say from these two equations here, well, in particular from this one, either well, firstly, I could think to myself, perhaps a is zero. Could a be 0 here? Two numbers multiplied to give 0. Well, if a was 0, you could either have a is 0, or you could have that t cubed plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, in this case here, that t cubed would therefore be negative 8, and t would be negative 2. Now, if t is negative 2, in this case here, you could use you could substitute in t is negative 2 in here, and you could say that uh, therefore 2 is equal to a multiplied by negative 2, and therefore you could say a is therefore equal to negative 1. So, um, A is either equal to negative 1 or 0. Now, A can't be 0. If A is 0, you've just got the curve X is 0, Y is 0. There's no sort of curve there. That's just a point. It's not a curve. So, A can't be 0, so you're just going to ignore this. 
But if a is equal to negative 1, you actually get the parametric equation x is equal to negative t and y is equal to negative t cubed plus 8. Okay, example 3. Uh, the curve is given parametrically as follows. So x is equal to t squared and y is equal to 4t. And the line x plus y plus 4 equals 0 meets the curve at a, find the coordinates of a. Well, what we've got here is we've got some simultaneous equations. These two are the parametric form of a curve and this one is the Cartesian form of a straight line. Now, if we were to substitute it for, for the solutions of these, it's when the x and the y of the parametric satisfy this equation. So we could substitute these in, and we could write that t squared, substituting for x, plus 4t, substituting for y, plus 4 is equal to 0. And this factorises, this is a perfect square, t plus 2 squared is 0, so therefore t is equal to negative 2. Now we found t is negative 2, it asks us for the coordinates of a, Okay, so therefore x is equal to negative 2 squared, right brackets, remember, when you're substituting in. So x is equal to 4, and y is equal to 4 multiplied by negative 2, so y is equal to negative 8. So therefore the coordinates of a, we should write down, are 4 and negative 8, and we're done. So that's the, all there is for uh, what parametric equations are and solving some simple problems. What I'd like you to do is read chapter 2, page 10 to 15, and then do exercise 2b, tuning in for the next video. Thank you for watching.